。好，二零一四年第十条题目啦，就系、是、有关于眼睛嘅。咁啊，题目一开始啦就讲啦，喺我哋个脑嘅视觉中心，就专系负责去处理翻由视网膜所去传送过嚟嘅神经脉冲嘅。咁而家啦，先去讲咗呢幅图点样睇先。嗱，呢幅图唔係讲緊隻眼睛嘅，呢幅图係讲緊你个脑嘅。x a c c e s s 呢，就係对应返我哋个视网膜唔同嘅位置，呢、這个就係中间嘅位置黄点，跟住啦就去到周边嘅位置啦。而 Y 轴呢，就係讲緊喺我哋个脑嘅视觉中心，究竟我哋安排咗几多个神经細胞？去接收返由视网膜所传送过嚟嘅神经脉冲呢，所以你会发现呢，喺我哋嘅视觉中心呢，我哋摆放咗好多嘅神经元去接收由黄点所传送嚟嘅神经脉冲嘅。相反啊，喺我哋嘅视觉中心呢，我哋系摆放咗少一啲嘅神经元去接收由视网膜周边嘅部分所去传送嚟嘅神经脉冲嘅。好，咁啊，先睇 Part A 啦。呢条题目咧有两样嘢我哋要留意嘅，第一就系感光細胞嘅种类，一啲光感受器嘅种类，话呢啲感光細胞喺个视网膜嘅分布。咁我哋就要解释下点解喺我哋嘅视觉中心系要摆放零舍多嘅神经元去接受由黄点所去传送嚟嘅神经脉冲呢？咁所以喺呢幅图咧，我哋主要就系睇黄色嘅部分，咁绿色嘅部分咧系不用理会嘅。咁我哋睇下条题目点样拆解咯。黄点有咩咁特别啊？佢就净系有视锥細胞，而视锥細胞嘅重要性就系帮我哋去产生一个有颜色嘅视野。人嘅眼睛有几多款嘅视锥細胞呢？系有三款，分别就系红、蓝、绿，帮我哋去感应翻红、蓝、绿三款嘅光线，从而亦都帮我哋去睇到其他嘅颜色啦。咁当我哋知道咗呢三个最基本嘅概念之后呢，我哋就去谂下啦，呢一啲感光細胞。同我哋大佬嘅视觉中心究竟系点样连结嘅呢？咁所以第一样就系话黄点佢有大量嘅视锥細胞，而我哋有三款嘅视锥細胞帮我哋产生一个有颜色嘅视野。正正就系因为有三款嘅视锥細胞，所以喺黄点咧，佢有较为多嘅感觉神经脉冲，就会 send 去个脑嗰处。咁所以我哋个脑啦，个视觉中心咧就要多啲嘅神经元去分析呢一啲嘅神经脉冲，究竟系咩意思呢？咁所以呢度就解释返点解喺我哋个脑嘅视觉中心係要摆放咁多嘅神经元去处理由黄点所传送嚟嘅神经脉冲啦。然后去到 Part B 啦，就係一个较为哲學式嘅问题啦。当我哋所谓见到啲嘢嘅时候，其实我哋仲要依赖个脑嘅其他部分嘅。个题目就即係讲緊：当我哋望到一个红红地呢。圆圆地啦，有个定啦嘅呢一嚿东西嘅时候，点解我会知道我见到嘅系一个苹果，而唔系一个橙，唔系一个西瓜呢？因为喺我哋个脑嗰处，除咗视觉中心，仲有联合区域，而呢两个区域系需要合作起上嚟，先令到我哋见到啲嘢之后，系知道呢嚿嘢嘅咩意思。所以我哋就要去提及翻我哋嘅感觉区域。就係、是、由我哋身體唔同嘅感受器去接收個神經脈衝，從而再分析返去俾到一個 sensation 你。今次呢個 sensation 呢個感應就係、是、啊呢嚿嘢呢係紅色嘅，圓圓地啦，有個定咁嘅款嘅。然後呢，就去到我哋嘅聯合區域啦。首先你要認得紅色係紅色先啦。如果唔係嘅話，你就見到一樣好似有顏色嘅嘢囉，你唔知佢叫紅色。哦，你唔知佢叫做圆形，你唔知道佢有个定，你都更加唔知道佢叫一个苹果。所以当我哋嘅视觉中心由我哋嘅眼睛接收到个神经脉冲，分析咗之后产生一个视野啦。呢、这个信息就会 send 去我哋嘅联合区域，而呢个联合区域就会帮我哋去做一个联想啦、记忆啦。判断啦，我哋对于呢一个影像嘅相关消息做一个串联啦。红红地、圆圆地有个定嘅，哦，呢、这个系个苹果嚟嘅，佢唔系西瓜嚟嘅，亦都唔系菠萝嚟嘅。又嚟到一点出发啦。今次嘅题目咧就系问视觉中心，就问翻我哋大脑啦，我哋嘅感觉区域系点样做嘢啦，同埋我哋个眼睛啦，感光细胞、视锥、视干细胞。今次主要问视锥细胞，下次可能问埋视干细胞，跟住再讲下啦。一个人入咗间黑房啊，究竟点解佢会望到？好一样嘢，但系又见唔到个颜色咧，又或者好似之前啲 M C 嘅，啊有个人咧喺个好黑暗嘅房去望嘢，但系当佢只眼咧斜斜地咁望。
望嘅时候呢，又望得清晰啲。喎。点解呢？当讲完个眼睛同大脑嘅合作啦，我哋就要讲下点样去形成一个视觉啦。點解我哋望到個紅色圓氹就有定嘅嘢就係蘋果而唔係菠蘿呢？咁啊，因為喺我哋嘅大陸嘅聯合區域係負責思考啦、記憶啦、判斷啦。咁當然下一次嘅題目亦都可能會問埋你有關於反應啦，就係、是、去到我哋大佬嘅。運動區究竟點樣可以令到我哋做嘢呢？我望到個蘋果啦，我想揦起佢拎嚟食嘅，聽到啲聲啦，危險嘅我就要走啦。啲啦，你將成個大腦啦，將你個感覺器官啦連埋起上嚟嘅話呢，就係、是、一條好典型嘅寫文題目啦。可以用返一個日常嘅例子，人喺條路度踩緊單車。佢點樣踩單車嘅呢？要控制啲肌肉喎，要控制佢嘅平衡喎，要控制佢呼吸心跳喎。踩到佢見到紅燈嘅時候啦，佢要停低。喎。究竟我哋嘅骨骼肌肉點樣引致到一個活動呢？究竟我哋嘅大腦、小腦、延腦究竟又點樣合作呢？我哋嘅感受器同埋效應器之間究竟又點樣協調呢？我哋望到個交通燈，我哋隻眼見到紅色，我哋嘅大腦視覺中心，我哋嘅感覺區域傳送咗一個信息俾我哋嘅聯合區域，我哋嘅聯合區域去諗啦，嗯，呢盞燈呢係紅色嘅，佢聽到一啲交通燈嘅聲添。嗱、啊，咁究竟我而家要停啊，定係繼續行駛呢 t w o one four question ten is the question about how can we see the object? It's given that The visual center of the brain is responsible for processing nerve impulse from the retina. And this graph I would like to talk about it is not the graph what we see in the textbook. The very similar graph which we see on the book is talking about the distribution of the photoreceptor on the retina. But this graph is showing the number of the neurons in the visual center allocate to receiving impulses from the unit area of the retina. So that means in the x-axis is talking about the area of the retina. The middle part of the retina is the yellow spot and the peripheral part of the retina. And for the y-axis is the number of neurons in the visual center of our cerebrum. We allocate them to receive the nerve impulses from the retina. To process them, so you can see that there are a lot of neurons in our visual center to receive the nerve impulse from the yellow spot. And for the green area, is about the peripheral region of the retina. So in our visual center, there are less neurons allocated to receive the nerve impulse from this region. So let's talk about the part A with reference to the type of the photoreceptors and the distribution of the retina. We are going to explain why more neurons in the visual center are allocated to the unit area of the yellow spot. So that's why we don't need to talk about the peripheral region of the retina. So for this question, there are several concepts we need to recall. First of all, recall the type of photoreceptors, the light sensitive cells at the yellow spot. There are only cone cells at the yellow spot. And then what is the importance of the cone cells? They help us to produce the color vision. And how many types of cone cells are there? And there are three types of cone cells, red, blue, green. They are the fundamental concept we need to recall first. And then we need to recall the connection between the photoreceptors to the visual center of the cerebrum. So how do they work together? First of all, yellow spot contains a high density of cone cells. And there are three types of cone cells for color perception. As a result, there are more sensory nerve impulses coming from the yellow spot to the visual center of the cerebrum. Therefore, there should be more neurons allocated to analyze the nerve impulses from the yellow spot. So it shows how do they work together. And for part B, after the perception of what we see, what it means to us depends on other parts of the brain. And, and we need to explain how this works. The question is talking about what we see here is the red round object. So how can we know it is called apple? Okay, so we need to understand that this object is really round. How can we define being round? And then this color is the red color. Oh, how can we define the red color, but, but not the blue or green? Therefore, we need to recall the function of the visual center of the cerebrum. And we need to recall the function of the associate area of the cerebrum. And then we need to realize how do they work together to let us see.
So that's why we need to recall the sensory area, receive the nerve impulses from various receptors, for example, the light sensitive cells, the cone cells, and then they need to interpret them to give sensation. How can we see something? And then the association area integrate information from different sensory area and relate the information to past experience. So what does it mean? It means that the impulse received from the visual cortex or the visual center will be interpreted at the association area. There will be nerve impulse sent to the association area. We can see that the nerve impulse will be sent from the visual center to the association area. So it can help us to relay the image, this red, brown object, and then this information will be retrieved from the previous stored information. Or what we learned before, how can we define brown? How can we define red? So this object, it looks like a fruit. So it is the apple, but not the watermelon, but not the pineapple. So let's talk about the curricular mapping. This question, it starts from the visual center. It talks about the sensory area in our cerebrum. And we talk about the photoreceptor, the light sensitive cells, the rock cell, the cone cell. So this time it focus on the cone cell maybe next time if talk about the rock cell just like the MC we talked about before and after that we talk about the sight the sensation how can we relate what we see to make it meaningful or we see the apple we see a car something like this it requires the coordination of the association area and what about we talk about the motor area later on to make the response uh, after we see something we see the fire and then we escape we hear the alarm and then we wake up something like this so that's why we can link all the things together to make an essay question the possible question variation is that to summarize the daily life case in which a person is riding a bicycle on the road so how can he or she ride on the bike how can he maintain the body balance? How can he control the breathing rate and death and the heart rate? And then how can he stop at the traffic light? So we need to recall the skeletal muscle contraction of the movement. We need to recall the function and the interaction among cerebrum cerebellum and the medulla oblongata. And we also need to recall the coordination between the receptors and the effector. So for example, when the driver they see the red light, so what does it mean? Or oh, first of all, he needs to realize that it is a red light in case he doesn't suffer from color blindness. And then he needs to know that the red light, it means stop. How can he really stop the car is another story.